Mr. Sams, what are you doing? What do you mean? Um, you sound like you're sick. No, it's my parrot imitation. A parrot? Yeah, Polly want a cracker? Polly. Oh, I get it. Polly. Yeah. Oh, like the polyatomic ions. It's not the same thing. We're talking about polyatomic Polly ions, but not Polly wanting a cracker. Polly want some coffee? All right, let's move on. You're hurting my inner cells. Okay. <laughs> Today, Show me the we're money. <laughs> we're going to talk about ionic charges and polyatomic ions. Hey, what's an ion, Mr. Sams? Uh, nothing. What's an ion with you? Oh, no, that's not right. <laughs> um, ion something with a charge. Hey, it's something with a charge. Something... Yeah, usually we talk about an atom or group of atoms with a charge, more specifically. Yeah, so we should actually say a group of atoms only. Yeah, or it could just be an individual atom. Or just mm -hmm. one atom, or one atom. So today, we want to learn about those things. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Now, on the periodic table, we can uh, look if I have an individual atom mm -hmm. with a charge. Yeah. We can uh, kind of work. So everybody I want you to do is pause the video. And as you pause the video, I want you to um, get your periodic table out. So you're going to write on your periodic yep. table. Go get it. Go get it. Okay. You got it back? All right. Good. good. All right. So in the first column, I want everybody to write plus one. one. That's pretty easy. One. Yep. For column For one. Column one. That seems to make sense. Yep. Yeah. Okay, then plus two. Plus two, okay, yep. good. And what are you going to do with these middle areas? And we're just going to ignore them. Skip them. Don't write yeah. skip, but skip them. Okay, over here. Uh, plus three. Plus three. We're not going to put anything in that one. Leave this one blank. Yep, uh, minus three. Oh, it's not plus four. No, or minus, five. No, okay. minus two. Yeah, minus two. Minus one. Minus one. And zero. Zero. Okay. okay. And these are going to be the charges. So if I were yeah. to say a question like, what is the charge of F right here? Yeah, that's minus one. You'd say F. Yeah. Now, there are exceptions sometimes, but by and large, this is what you're going with. And actually, technically, it's F1 negative. Or if I were to do P, what would be his charge? Uh, minus 3 or 3 P, minus. 3 minus. Yeah. And then MG over here, what would plus I do here? Plus 2 or 2 MG, plus. MG, 2 positive. And then how about our B right here? Uh, it's plus 1 or 1 plus or just yeah. plus. Oh, yeah, actually, if it's just got a, a positive charge, so like, for example, cesium, you can say CS positive. Plus, or, or if I were to do iodine right here, it would be I minus negative. Minus, or iodide. Iodide, actually, is yep. what it's called. Okay? All right. Good. All right, that's not too hard, is it? Okay. Now, one other uh, thing you should be aware of is things with positive charge, we call them cations. Yeah. And things with negative charge, we call them anions. So write that down, cations. Yeah, it looks like cation, but it's cations. Cations always have a positive charge. Yep. And then anions. And anions are a negative charge. Now, do you know why um, negative charge? Why did I put the positive word over here, Mr. Sanders? Well, the things on the left side of the little staircase there tend to be positive. Yeah, these guys are the positive areas. And the things on the right side of the staircase tend to be negative. There you go. But don't write that on your periodic table. All right, but there's also poly ions. There are. Poly, poly meaning... Poly means many. Yes. So, like, if you are, um, I'm trying to give a word with poly in it. Poly... Gone. Polygon has many, polygon? many sides, many angles. Polygon. Polynesia, a group of a whole bunch of islands okay. in the Pacific. Polygamy? Um, yeah, yeah. What's that? Well, Polygamy. That's when you you have, have more lots than one of wife. spouses, yes. Or is it, could it be more than one husband? I don't, I don't know. know. I, I, have, I don't know. Yeah, poly means more than one. Yep. So a group of atoms with a charge is a polyatomic ion. No. Sometimes we just call them a polyion. Poly <laughs> There you go. The poly one an ion. Poly one an ion. Hey, and here is a list of polyions. It's a long list. Yeah. And this is actually the list of ones that have a one negative charge. Yep. And we want you to know some of these. So, so the let's ones see. we want you to know are acetate. acetate for sure. Now, how do you memorize? Acetate? Uh, I remember you said something about being a football player. Did you play football in no, 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 I am not much of an athlete. All right, here, you got to be in the, in the all right, huddle. All right. All right. I haven't played football yet, but I no. just made it. Okay. So you say Cho. Cho. Two. Two. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Negative. Negative. Cho. Two. Thirty-two. Negative. So got it. It's hard to memorize that, but if you say Cho. 232 negative. Do you see how that kind of like? Oh, uh, yeah. Acetate. I got it. And here's nitrate. Okay. Nitrite. Yep, learn those. Cyanide. Yep, that one. Hydroxide. Yep. And then we want you to learn these right here. Yeah, but the nice thing about those that he's showing you there, you just really have to learn chlorate. Well, and there's then, a pattern, and I'm going to talk about the pattern a little bit. Yep. Okay, and so um, the rest of these? Nah, you know, not so, so much. So the ones you need to know, I'm going to underline just to make sure. Okay. This one. And then. This one. This yep. one. This one, and then these at the top. Yep. So those are the ones you need to memorize. Yep. And that's it. For yep. The negative ones. Just now we're about to do the negative two ones. 
Now the negative two charges, which ones do we need to do, Mr. Sams? Uh, definitely sulfate. Sulfate. Sulfite. Sulfite. Carbonate. And carbonate. That's I think that's it. kind of yeah. it, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. How about we move on to the minus three charges, and uh, guess what? Let's do phosphate and phosphite. Well, let's do them both, phosphate and phosphite. Yeah. Okay. And then lastly, there is the ones with the positive one charge. Yep, know them both. Hydronium and ammonium. So just know them both. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Hey, there's no. kind of a rule set. Yeah. And on this set of rules, what I want you guys to do is essentially copy it down. Yeah. Okay, so pause the video, copy this down, yep. and then we'll do some examples on the next slide. Yep. Okay. Oh, all right. Back. So, um, when, when I'm looking at the chlorate, chloride, hypochlorite, all this, I memorize chlorate. That's it. You, so you only memorize, ladies and gentlemen, the one that ends in A-T-E. So the one that ends in A-T-E is the one that you want to memorize. Yep. And then the ones that ends in I-T-E, it sounds like light. Yep. All right, so light means he's it's light. It's one. chlorate light. It's chlorate light. What, what, what's the difference between chlorate and chlorite? It has one less oxygen. Just one less oxygen. Yep. The ites always have one less oxygen than the eights. Yep. Okay, and hypoite, now if you're like a hypo, what is hypo? Hypo means less. Yeah, hypo means less. Like you've got less, like if you're hypothermic, that means you've got less, less heat. Less temperature, yeah. Less right. temperature. If you're hypoxic, you have less oxygen than you need. So this is one less oxygen. Still, he's ite, so he's light. Mm -hmm. And he's not even ite, he's like he's less ite light. Less ite, he's light light. And so he loses two oxygens. And then um, if it says per, per front, that's like hyper. Hyper, so that means you're like more than. More, yeah. more than. So he gets one more oxygen than does the eight. So if you just memorize the eight, um, you're good. Yep. So let's Build do uh, uh, another example. How about yeah. that? Well, let's go sulfate. Sulfate. Yeah. Okay, sulfate. Now, you can just memorize sulfate. Yeah. Now, you don't probably have it memorized yet, but that's SO4, negative 2. So its friend sulfite is going to have... So sulfite... Sulfite is light. Light. So he's going to have one less oxygen. oxygen. So it's SO3. Now, the charge never changes when you do this. The, it always has a minus 2 charge. Um, or in the example that we did on the uh, on here, this one always has a minus one charge, minus one. The charge doesn't change. The only thing that changes is the number of oxygens. Another example would be nitrate is NO3 negative one. That's nitrate. And then his buddy would be nitrite. nitrite. Now everybody take a second before we tell you the answer. What is the form of nitrite? Mm. Mm. That's right, it's you! It's nitrate light. Nitrate light, so NO2. Lose one O, negative one. I think you get it's a pattern, so you don't actually have to memorize. You go back to that list that we had uh, earlier, and you go, oh my gosh, there's so many things to memorize. Now I just learn the eights. But if you learn the eights, like here's the sulfate and the sulfite. Okay, just learn sulfate, and you're good. Yeah. Now, some people like to think that the eight has uh, always the same number of oxygens, no. and that's just not. It the just case. depends. Like sulfate has, has four oxygens, whereas nitrate has three oxygens, chlorate has three oxygens, Actually, phosphate has four oxygens. Actually, what they've done, the scientists have taken the most common one yeah. and called it the eight. Eight. So that was eight. kind of a silly thing to do, but they did it. They ate it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They ate it. Uh, did they eat it? Mm. Okay. Are we done? I believe we're done. Pretty cool. short podcast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bye.